So I want to tell the story about uh, the craziest first meetup with a person. Well, one of the craziest. Now, um, so I met up with this guy and he, uh, he, uh, talked about women's breasts, like, openly. Like, he was, he's 100% open about it. Like, I'm like, yeah, not a good idea. Yeah, my mom taught me, you, you don't talk openly about women like that. Like, I wouldn't want someone talking openly about, like, like, even one girl one time was like, nice calves, and I'm like, looking at her funny. It's like, I, I, it's like I'm a piece of meat or something. <laughs> and, um, and then this guy literally, like, <laughs> like, wanted to not pay. Uh, we bowled, and he w wanted to not pay, because the person at the bowling alley wasn't there. <laughs> so guess who ended up paying? And I was furious about that, and he wanted to get some ice cream. So I'm like, yeah, you're paying for my ice cream at least. Like... <laughs> That's the least you could do. And, um, so there was this other couple people eating ice cream. And, uh, one of them was like, you know, about to throw it away. And I was like half eaten. And then he's like, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. And it's like, this was like, during COVID, like, or, like, maybe a year after COVID, but still it was kind of still hyped up about it. Like, <laughs> so let me recap, recap real quick. He was, if you can call it, mis what do you call it, misogynistic? I don't know. He, he was openly talking about women's breasts, uncomfortable. Uh, wanted to skip bowling and ate <laughs> somebody's, like, already eaten ice cream. All in one day. That was a lot in one day, especially for the first time meeting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, some explanation is is in, in order, because this guy actually was in a car accident, and um, it stunted his his brain... And he's kind of stuck at that age. Um, so the stuff you would do, try to pull when you're like 16 or something. Like talking about women inappropriately, trying to not pay for something and just eating something from somebody else. Like that, that's exactly what someone would do. I'm still friends with this person. He's a good guy. He just... <laughs> I was insane for a first impression, though. Like, I didn't want to be friends with him for a while, but I'm. He's a good guy, and I'm glad I'm I'm friends with him now. Like nowadays, like if he like comments on like if he finds someone attractive, he'll do it in public, and I just laugh. I'm like, that's all you can do. You could just laugh, like laugh it off. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? It's like. <laughs> And he's, like, so open with people. Oh, man, I, I have some other stories about this guy. Like, uh, his, uh, his far-right politics. He's not a Nazi or anything, but he's, uh, he's far-right. And then he, 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 get, he gets into it if, if he, we talk politics. Um, he's very open and honest. Like, if he wants to say something to a random stranger, he'll do it. Like, I'm kind of like that, but, like, not to his level. So, the, he, this guy is just, he's a, he's a lovable, though. He's, 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 he's a good guy, like, but he just, he's just, 
acts differently than someone would. So, anyway, um, that's my story. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I vowed not to come back for a while, and then here I am recording another story time, which is easier. So it's a lot easier just to take a deep breath and relax and hopefully make better content in the future. And if I say that, I'm going to set myself up for failure because uh, I, I don't even like putting expectations on myself. Like, who do you think I am? Who the fuck do you think I am? <laughs> Anyway, and I'll see you when you watch me again. Meta fucking forkly. Meta mother fucking forkly. Up your up. Well, no, I'm not trying to be rude and say up your ass, but who's really gonna be offended if I'm like up your ass? I don't. <laughs> see you guys.